Long ago, a young man traveled across a vast expanse on horseback and defeated sixteen colossal beings to restore the life of a girl. Welcome everybody to my LP of Eco. My name is Lukagen. Thank you for joining me. I'm very excited to start this LP. As many people know, Eco is the sequel to Shadow of the Colossus. However, this game was made beforehand. So this game was made first. Like Shadow of the Colossus, this is a very um, interesting and unique game. Very devoid of dialogue. But very high in visual arts and environment. Unlike Shadow of the Colossus, which had minimalist landscape design, we are going to see a big difference in this game. And as we saw earlier, some men on horseback. Some look like warriors and knights. Others look strangely like religious men. But one thing stands out in this party. Already the game is going to leave us to decide what is happening here. It gives us nothing but the images itself. automatically a feeling of dread. And this poor boy is locked away. How horrible. The knights leave, and in the first five minutes of the game, we are presented with something so astonishing and unthinkable that you're not sure how to perceive anything that's happening.
We see him close up for the first time and see that he has horns. It's a very peculiar thing for a young boy to have. strange place he's been taken to. The environment seems obviously hostile. Or at least unsettling. it was his vision or a dream after he knocked out his uh, after he got himself knocked on the head all right let's start ego can do many things he can jump he can sidle around he can call out <laughs> but who are we calling to no one here. Imagine that. If we were put in the casket, who else is in the other caskets? It's a very unsettling thought, and there seems to be a lot of them. We can't bother with that now, though. How do we get out of here? We don't know where we are. Or what we're supposed to do. Well, like Shadow of the Colossus, this game has a good bit of exploring in it. In fact, rather than defeating enemies per se, exploration is the key to this game. The environments in this game are extremely rich and realistic, especially considering that this game was made in 2001. The art direction in this game is incredible. That's our first little puzzle. And we get a little taste of how this game is going to go. This is definitely a game that will delight your senses and make you think about a great many things. Alright, the next room. I know that the camera might look a little wonky. It's very nauseating even to me, so I'll try to keep it to a minimum. Eco can also climb chains or ropes. He's quite agile. And he can also jump off this chain if I do this right. I'm going to lower myself a little there. Uh, right there. There we go. And that's how we solve our first room. Every room is going to have different puzzles and challenges, and it's extremely imperative to look at everything in the rooms if you're playing this for the first time. Since I'm obviously not playing this for the first time, I won't be doing a lot of zooming in on every single thing because it would take far too long and this LP would never end. So if you do play this yourself, I do suggest that you go through Take your time and really enjoy all the environments that this game has to offer you. I mean, the hardest puzzles can be solved with a simple thing that you may have overlooked. 
Another thing I'm going to add really quickly is that there are, is dialogue in this game that is not translated. We saw some just before that had subtitles, but there are some that are not. On the first playthrough, that's what happens. However, I'm going to add the missed dialogue in annotations. So if you desire to have that dialogue, please watch this with the annotations on. If you don't want any spoilers or any um, added dialogue that you might not understand when it comes up on the screen, please watch with the annotations off. So I'm giving you the choice. All right, doesn't look like we can go any further, but we can climb. Surely there must be something at the top of this. It's so grand. Maybe we can get a better view of where we are and how we might get out of here. We learn just how very small Eco is in this. We also learn that Eco is a very generous child, and he has a good heart. Just as he was just imprisoned, we find that someone else is too. I wonder who that is. And why they were put up there. It seems so cruel. Well, we can't jump down this way, it looks like. Don't want to do this. So what must we do? Let's look around. I see this window is open. Let's try that. I have to tell you, it took me like 20 minutes the first time I played this to figure out you were supposed to go through the window. Sometimes it's almost too obvious and you overlook it. So in this game, don't overlook a thing. Sometimes the most simple answer is the best one. That one's closed. Aha, this one looks open. Let's try that. Eco moves a lot like Wander in Shadow of the Colossus. He has a lot of physical momentum, which adds a good deal of realism. A little bit of a challenge, too, when you're trying to walk little ledges and climb. Aha, a lever. All right, we've done it. Now to get back down. Yes, we have to run all the way back. But it's good practice for you. Unlike some other games that have a very blunt tutorial, this doesn't really give you any clues or any hint on what to do, but it does give you this little bit to run around, explore, and try new things, and that's basically the tutorial of the game. We have a little bit more to go on that before we actually start, start. Alright, let's see who was down there. Hopefully get them out of that cage. can't imagine who would stick somebody in there. And why were we stuck in that horrible tomb as well? Such a creepy thought to seal little children away. Even though there's nothing outwardly horrible about this castle at the moment, you get that horrible feeling because you know that that's what was meant to happen. Is he was meant to be left in there until he died. It just gives you a creepy kind of feeling, even though nothing seems to be, you know, problematic at the moment. This is a very long corridor. Corridor. I mean stairwell. That's what I meant. What am I talking about? Alright. Oh. We got the cage down, but it's still not on the floor. What do we do? Can't reach it. <laughs> Expect to hear that a lot during the game. That's his little way of saying, hey, I'm here, hello, come get me. But that person's stuck in a cage, so they're probably just laughing at us at this point. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. How about we just jump on it? Success! Oh no. <laughs> Oops. 
<laughs> Where'd that come from? Pretty girl. There's something so strange about her. Oh no, sacrificed because he has horns? It's terrible. Oh dear. And our first order of business is to save her from the shadow beasts. This is the first time we've seen them. They'll pull her into the portal, and you must use R1 to pull her out. Once that happens, she'll trust you enough to take your hand. good idea. Hold R1 to drag her with you, and what you must do here is grab your stick. This will be the first weapon for you in the game. What we must do is protect her. Eco can't die from any um, battle injuries made by these shadow beasts. The only way he can actually die or fail is if this young girl gets taken down the portal by these shadow beasts or if he falls from too great of a distance. So as you can see, there's no health bars, there's no inventory, there's nothing but a boy and a girl. And we learn that she has some kind of strange powers. So as they join hands, we have a very unlikely pair. And each need the other to leave this castle. But first we have to figure out if there's a way out. The young girl seems very much opposite us. She seems very weak and frail, even though she's obviously bigger and older than us. So we must be her protector. We get our first glimpse of just how vast this place is and how small we are. And we sit on this couch to save. There will be couches all over the place. And they'll have a nice little nap. Thank you for joining me, everyone, for the first episode of Eco. Um, I hope you'll join in again. I can't wait to do the next one. And yes, I'm using memory cards this time. Safe states don't work very well in this game. Alright, see you later guys.